one guam on guam people thems. Um, so I'm sticking with my Christmas themed evening. It's like twenty to two in the morning over here, but I'm just so like, give me more, give me more, <laughs> give me more. Um, so the next person on this list is Cher. Um, now there's two songs on here. She's got um. Christmas Baby Please Come Home which was the, the one that um, I did with Kiki Palmer and, um, and Tori Kelly and Gabrielle uh, Enrique did uh, Enrique did a, a cover of that as well um, so that seems to be a popular one that people are covering at the moment um, but I think she's also got a new song out because I've just seen as I was scrolling through that she was on the Graham Norton show which is a, a show in the UK um, singing the same song DJ play a song play a Christmas song um, I don't know much about Cher, aside from the fact that I know that she's performed with the Jackson 5, um, in fact all the great, she's been around for ages, and obviously Believe, do you believe in love and love, and I know she's a massive icon to so many, um, but I've just never really taken the time to listen to much of her, so this is probably one of the first times in my 30 odd years, <laughs> so yeah, let's give a listen. And see what it's saying. She sounds amazing. Kelly is loving life. I mean... Oh my gosh! So, 
like it's probably gonna I mean it, it, not that it matters but I mean I feel like let's get the next one ready I feel like Cher looks incredible <laughs> like genuinely incredible I'm not even sure how old she is but like she would have been I know that her and I remember her performing with Tina Turner um, and went on the VH, VH1 Divas rock and whatever so um, I don't know whether Tina was much older because her and Tina were like friends right um, but Tina was like 80 wasn't she when she passed so how old is Cher? Because Cher looks good. Like and I I know that she's like, you know, had work done or whatever else, but I mean and listen, people do whatever they wanna do. Like it's not it's not for me personally, like but you know, people do whatever they wanna do. But all I will say is if I was going to do that, if that was the lane that I chose, it's that surgeon that I wanna go to <laughs> because I'm just like, why do you Because she's got to she uh, anyway, she looks amazing. Um the song isn't to my taste, personally. It's not something that I think I would put on, um, that I would want to listen to. Um, but I can still respect the vocals within it. So again, this didn't seem live to me, like, like not even a little bit. I mean, it's, she's come on with auto-tune-y, that, that thing, whatever. Um, so it didn't seem live. Um, but she would have had to lay down those vocals in some studio somewhere. So in terms of the vocals, and um, particularly like the bridge bit, and then and then there was one bit which is that big note. Like I didn't even know the show was even still singing like like at all. So that was quite surprising. And again, it's quite an energetic, young. I kind of get the vibe of Cher that youth is like important to her and, and remaining young and you know feeling young within herself and and stuff. So it's nice to see that she's done like quite an up tempo y type of Christmassy song. And I can imagine there's many people, many of my friends potentially who would. You know, I'll be up for that kind of like dee 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 um as it's not really in my bag, but um I, I I rate her work ethic. Um and yeah, I'm definitely gonna be giggling how old Sherry is though. <laughs> I just need to know. <laughs> I need to know. So this one is her singing Baby Please Come Home with Someone Love. Um I don't know who I don't know who that is, but let's find out. Darlene Love. Oh, she changed her hair? Cher looks incredible, they both do. Is that Santa on the saxophone? <laughs> Oh, it's Christmas Day. 
Cher seems so sweet. The thing is, like, so many people have got so many good things to say about Cher. Like, I mean, she's been around for such a long time. Like, um, I'm gonna have to Google, sorry, because I just need to know, like, how... <laughs> I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't understand that. Totally blood out. <laughs> Sorry. Bro, like. So, God rest my nan. She was 75 when she passed, right? Like, she looked like. Like nanny, like she looked like a nanny, like nanny, like nanny, like with, with the with the head tie and the pinny, like nanny. Wow, wow. I mean, again, obviously, another lifestyle is completely different. Like I get that, but I just, as I said, I knew it had to be something in and around that because Tina Turner was around about eighties when she passed, and I don't think she was there was that much difference between the two of them. But seventy-seven years old. Like, dude, she looks better than some people that I work with who are younger than me. <laughs> right? That is mad. Anyway, when you've got the space, the time and the money to do that, then I guess maybe it's, uh, it is what it is. But um, that being said, whatever, like, in terms of the actual performance, in fact, let me find out who Darlene Love is as well, because I don't know who that is. Right, no profession is Darlene Love. Is an American singer actress. She's the lead singer of the girl group, The Who. The Blossoms. They're getting rid of Wikipedia. I've never never heard of her. Never heard of her before, but clearly, um well, she's someone that I will dig into a little bit more and find out a little bit more about our Darlene Love. Um, I think what's really nice about this, I mean, again, it didn't seem like it was live to me. So I think there were definitely it's now making me think, like, was Kelly Clarkson's just really mimed really well? Because it makes me wonder, why would hers be live, but no one else's was live? Because I didn't think that Chloe was live, either, either of those performances. Um, neither of those two from Cher or Darlene Love seem live. I guess we're going to see with Barry Manilow in a minute. Um, but Kelly's, both of Kelly's did seem live. I don't know. Um, but what I did rate, though, is that obviously it's their vocals, behind it so it was still good to hear them I love the harmonies um I love that they're kind of like like I guess now knowing that, that Darling Love is, has got like quite a history um quite legacy stars like in that um you get a certain sense of you know grandiosness in terms of their celebrity because of who they are like you know I, I may not have known much about Cher but I know that I got you babe I got you like that that's the era that she comes from. So knowing that she is there, like that just adds that kind of that superstar Hollywood see glitz, doesn't it? Um so I think that was quite nice. And just watching them kind of, you know, rock it out in their own way. Um, vocally, do I think it's you know, it, it, you can't even compare it really to Kiki and Tori or Gabrielle. Like it it's 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 a different it's a different ball game, really, in terms of what the performance is adding. Um, but again, the fact that, it, that it's not live um, takes away a little bit, but it doesn't at the same time because of who they are. Does that make sense? Like, I love live music, obviously, but because of who they are, it doesn't necessarily take that much away from it, um, from them just being on the stage and performing it, if that makes sense. So it's just nice that they're there. With that, it, it, that, with, with that, that sounding too, like, hopefully not patronising or condescending or anything like that, but it's just that their, I think their star quality eclipses whatever I'll be looking for from them vocally. Um, but even with a recorded live version, um, it's still nice to hear what vocals they're rocking with. And again, at 77, like, that is massively impressive. Massively, massively, massively impressive. Um, 
Okay, brilliant. Well, I guess, yeah, I'd love to know what Barry Manilow is next, so that's going to be interesting because I don't know nothing about Barry Manilow. <laughs> um, but for now, thank you so much for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then please drop me a like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And in the Christmas spirit, it is the festive season. <laughs> and I do have a... Um, YouTube membership that you can join if you want to become part of my channel um, and be part of the meteoric success of my channel. I'm praying and I'm hoping. <laughs> um, and I also have a Patreon as well if you want to head over there and become part of the Patreon fam. So for now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>